police officers investigating the disappearance and murder of IEBC returning officer in charge of Embakasi East constituency, Daniel Mbolo Musioka, have received fresh clues that could help unravel the murder. This is after the officers obtained CCTV footage showing Bolu's last moments at Church Road in Tassia area of Embakasi. The Director of Public Prosecutions has directed the National Police Service to expedite the investigations into Bolu's death and forward the file for action within seven days. 10.30 a.m. Thursday last week, according to CCTV footage that has since been retrieved by detectives, IEBC returning officer Daniel Mbolo Musioka is captured speaking to a border border operator near an entertainment joint in Tasia area of Embakasi. Moments later, Musioka is seen speaking on his mobile phone before making a turn and walking back towards the other end of Church Road. Musioka stood at this point for approximately 1 minute and 28 seconds. Investigators are seeking to establish the identity of the border border operator seen on the footage to help in unraveling the mystery behind the disappearance and subsequent murder of Mbolu Musioka. What the officers are also keen on establishing is how Musioka got to Church Road from Embakasi East Constituency Tiling Center, which was stationed at the East Africa School of Aviation. The distance between the two points is 1.2 kilometers according to Google Maps. It takes approximately 18 minutes on foot and 6 minutes while driving. Musioka, according to security guards and colleagues who have since recorded statements with the police, reported for duty at 9.30 a.m. before excusing himself 15 minutes later. That would be the last time he was seen alive and at work. Officers are also reconstructing the movement of Mbolu Musioka from his house to the Tiling Center and to Loy Tok Tok where his body was recovered Monday this week. This comes as the autopsy conducted Wednesday this week revealed that the returning officer could have died as a result of strangulation. The report shows that he had bruises on his legs arms and injuries on his shoulder caused by blunt force trauma. Samples from his body were taken to the government chemist for further analysis. IEBC in a statement said that it was saddened by the murder of the returning officer and called on security agencies to speedily investigate and apprehend his killers. The commission assuring the family that it will journey with them as they make plans to lay him to rest. Plans are currently underway to bury him in Mwala, Machakos County. That story was produced by our Ben Kirui.